Hello everyone and welcome to High School Wrestling, where the Wakefield Warriors are here to wrestle the Bishop O'Connell Knights. This is part of the Arlington Quad, so while O'Connell and Wakefield are wrestling on this one, Ashwin Lee and York will be wrestling on the other one. We're beginning with a couple of uh, default uh, victories in the meet. Christian Marrera uh, took his meet by default, his match by default, but now Dennis Jimenez for the work for the Warriors and Alan Parker Jr. for the Bishop O'Connell Knights are ready to wrestle. This is the second meet of the morning. Uh, we've already seen Bishop O'Connell wrestle against Washington Lee and Wakefield wrestle against Yorktown. And so Jimenez and Parker both coming out aggressively. So far now they're able to take the other one down. Trying to use their footwork and leg strength to get an advantage, but finding that they're evenly matched. And so the wrestlers are wandering out of the circle, the referee bringing them back to the center. And the officials are sorting out a, an issue, taking a break in action on both mats right now. And now the official wants to sort something out with the Wakefield coach. So all four high schools in Arlington wrestling today here at Yorktown, the host high school for this year's Arlington Quad. That honor and responsibility rotates through the four high schools. Last year the quad was hosted by Washington Lee. All right, Parker and Jimenez. Both coming out aggressively. Okay, we have a lunge from Jimenez. And Jimenez and Parker appear to be evenly balanced. Back up on their feet. into the second period now. Jimenez starts in the down position, Parker in the up position. And Parker can't keep Jimenez down. Both wrestlers are showing a lot of strength and are not being brought down easily. wrestlers have had much experience competing against each other, but they do seem in some ways to be wrestling like they are familiar with each other. They can anticipate each other's moves. All right, now we're down on the mat. Jimenez trying to pin Parker. Parker, though, is able to get back up to his feet. Jimenez takes Parker down again. But 
Parker is able to resist being pinned. Trying to seal the deal. He's had a good position now in the second period, but has not been able to turn now on Parker Jr. And we will go to the third period. Dennis Jimenez for the Wakefield Warriors um, doing what he can to stay loose and ready to continue the match. All right, we are ready for more wrestling now. And the third period is playing out a lot like most of the first two. circle again so they'll go back in to the center of the ring we're going to begin again from the neutral position and Jimenez has Parker in a good hold Parker's at risk of being pinned but Parker is able to fight it off They're back up on their feet. The match continues. We're running out of time in the third period. Both wrestlers have done a great job of anticipating the other wrestler's moves. And there's been very little risk of a pin in this match. Under a minute to go in the match. And Parker and Jimenez. A lot of the match has taken place above the mat. They're using leg strength and footwork. Looking for a way for a takedown. All right, they're back down to the mat now. And Parker. As man is in a little bit of trouble. And they've gone the full three periods. Even match, but Dennis Jimenez for the Wakefield Warriors will take the match on points. So the meet is off to a good start. Jimenez over Parker on points. They go the full distance. And now D'Angelo Jones will come to the mat for the Wakefield Warriors. And he will be wrestling Vasily Varfus for the Bishop O'Connell Knights. Jones against Varfus and official needed a moment to sort out Varfus and Jones come out aggressively. Lunge from Jones. He has Varfus in a takedown. And Varfus is going to be able to shift the action outside the ring. So we'll come back to the center. And Vasily Varfus. We'll start in the down position. 
Or rather, we're going to start in the neutral position. Some confusion there about how we'd re uh, resume action in the first period. And D'Angelo Jones has Vasily Varsis in a takedown. And they're getting close to the outside of the ring once again. And Russin will take a break and we'll come back to the center of the ring. This time Varsis will start in the down position. Jones is in the up position. Wrestlers are going to three meets today. So anyone who's used to the dual meet that is often part of the regular season has to step it up and find a lot of stamina. Jones is in control of the match right now, but Varsis is not able to easily pin. And at the moment, evenly balanced. There's a takedown. D'Angelo Jones, we want to take down Vasily Varpas. But the takedown was outside the circle. So we're going to go back to the middle. Varpas in the down position. Jones in the up position. Official timeout. And now we will begin again, starting from the neutral position. Both wrestlers hanging back a little bit. Still looking for an opening for takedown. There's a, there's a move by Jones. He has Varfus on the mat. And yet again, the wrestlers shifted uh, out of the circle, so they're brought back to the center. Barfus for the Bishop O'Connell Knights, starting the down position. Jones for the Wakefield Warriors in the up position. This has been a very balanced match between D'Angelo Jones and Vasily Varfus. Both showing a lot of strength, but it's been equally opposed. Jones has the upper hand now, though. And so we're gonna move to the third period of the match.
Uh, you will begin in the neutral position. And the third period is starting out an awful lot like the first period played out between these two wrestlers. All right, now Jones has him in a takedown. He's got Varsis in at risk of being pinned. Varfus is fighting off the pin, but Jones at this point in control of the match. You can see the official having to show a lot of mobility. And there's the pin. D'Angelo Jones, the Wigfield Warriors, pins Vasily Varfus the Bishop O'Connell Knights. So Wakefield takes that match. And now the Warriors will send Matthew Oliveira to the mat to wrestle James Toth of the Bishop O'Connell Knights. Oliveira against Toth. Vera and Toth, their leg strength quickly takes them out of the ring, so they're back to the center, starting from the neutral position. Toth goes for the takedown. And Vera able to fight it off. And again, the wrestlers outside of the, of the circle. D'Angelo Jones was able to pin Vasily Varfus in that third period in, in the match we just saw. But these two schools have come in looking very evenly balanced. And now Oliveira and Toth are doing battle, but mostly off the mat. Trying to use leg strength and footwork to force a takedown. Both are still up. Lunge by Toth. He can't get the takedown, though. And we are again out of the ring. So we will come back to the center ring. Toth with a quick move. And he has... Oliveira in a takedown. Oliveira struggling to get back to his feet. And the official will separate the wrestlers. And we will resume action from the neutral position. So neither wrestler were able to get much of an advantage. Moving on to the second period. Toth. Toth has Oliveira at risk of being pinned. 
Rivera's able to fight it off. But Toth is still in control of the match. Again, Olivera's at risk of being pinned, and there it is. So James Toth for the Bishop McConnell Knights, able to pin Olivera from the Lakeville Warriors. Now Gabe Sosinski will be wrestling against the Lakeville Warriors. We wanted to show you from earlier in the morning, William Grossman for the Washington League Generals and Gabe Sosinski for the Bishop McConnell Knights. Grossman and Sosinski. And they find themselves out of the ring. So the wrestling will stop, will come back. And Grossman will begin the down position. Sosinski in the up position. Sosinski in control. So far unable to pin. William Grossman. See, Sosinski has the advantage right now, but he's going to have to find a way to pin William Grossman. And now time in the first period. That's the end of the first period, so. Sosinski ahead on points. William Grossman putting up a good defense, though. Now Grossman coming out a little bit aggressively in the second period. And they are quickly out of the ring, though. Clock is stopped, you know, resume from the center. The matches so far between Wakefield Warriors and Bishop O'Connell Knights, very evenly matched. And we're also seeing a very even match here between William Grossman from the Washington League Generals and Gabe Sosinski from the Bishop O'Connell Knights. This was the first meet of the morning at the Arlington Quad. We'll get you back to our coverage of the second meet, the Wakefield and uh, Bishop O'Connell meet. Again, the wrestlers find themselves outside of the circle, so they're brought back in. A lot of this second period between Grossman 
and Sosinski have taken has taken place above the map, but now they're down on the mat. And again, Sosinski in an advantageous position. Grossman trying to get to his feet. Now Grossman trying to avoid being pinned. Sosinski has him in a good hold. Grossman forced to play defense. All right, so we're on to the third period now. Sosinski ahead on points, but not able to pin Grossman, so they have an issue with the clock. begin the third period again. All right, action's now underway. Sosinski has Grossman at risk of being pinned. Almost able to pin Grossman. Grossman fights it off, but can't, can't shake the grip of Sosinski. again in some peril right now, but he's able to fight it off. Sosinski trying to seal the deal. And time is running out in this third period. A lot of this match, Gabe Sosinski for the Bishop O'Connell. Has had the advantage of William Grossman from Washington Lee, but has not been able to pin Grossman. Less than 10 seconds now in this third period. And that's the time. So they went the full three, full three periods. And Gabe Sosinski will take his first match of the day. And now he is wrestling Eduardo Ortiz from Wakefield. Sosinski off to a good start in this match as well. Eduardo Ortizo back up to his feet. We are, there is a takedown. Sosinski has Ortiz in a takedown. But Ortiz struggling to get back up on his feet. Ortiz is at some risk. Strong hold from Sosinski. And there's the pin. Gabe Sosinski. Pins Ortiz and Bishop O'Connell takes that match. Relatively quick victory for Gabe Sosinski after his long three period uh, drawn out wrestling match from the morning, early in the morning. Moving it along, the O'Connell Knights will send out Austin Maiden. And he'll be wrestling Andrew Mason. So for the Bishop O'Connell Knights, Austin Maiden wrestling Andrew Mason for the Wakefield Warriors. We have no 
kind of issue, technical issue with the uh, wrestling clock. That's set now. And we're underway. Mason and Maiden. And they are quickly out of the ring. And the driving leg strength probably both wrestlers and it drove them right out of the ring. So we bring it back to the center of the mat. And Maiden aggressively trying to get uh, Mason in a takedown. Mason though, good balance, good leg strength. And he's not easy to take down. Mason at risk of being pinned by Maiden. But Mason showing a lot of strength, able to get back off the mat. Now he's back down. Maiden came out aggressively. Took him a while, but he got Mason in a takedown, and now Maiden is trying to seal the deal with a pin. Austin Maiden trying to make the turn. And that is the end of the period, so. See both wrestlers getting up a little slowly, putting on a terrific effort from both of them. And obviously, they're feeling something of the strain. All right, we're gonna begin again now in the neutral position. And Maiden quickly has Mason in a takedown. He's once again in a strong position. But Mason's now back up to his feet. And they are wandering out of the ring again. So we'll come back to the middle. This time Mason will begin in the down position. And Maiden in the up position. Maiden has come close to pinning Mason, but unable to seal the deal. Takedown by Maiden. He's got Mason in a good hold. But so far has been able to pin him.
So Austin Maiden and Andrew Mason. They're on a great struggle. We're gonna go to the third period now. Maiden will begin in the down position. Mason in the up position. Maiden is ahead on points. And now Mason has Maiden in a stronghold. Maiden almost able to get to his feet back down on the mat. And now Andrew Mason is trying to turn the tables and pin Austin Maiden. Maiden, a little bit of risk now being pinned. Mason not quite able to turn him fully though. And we have about, about a minute to go now in this third period, so. Made it almost off the mat, back down. And the official stops play, uh, the wrestling. So we got a scoring issue. And we will begin again with Maiden in the down position, Mason in the up position. time in the third period. Mason has his best position, best hold of the match so far. Maiden. Trying to avoid being pinned. Mason almost able to turn Maiden. But we are getting out of the ring. And that is the end of three periods. So Austin Maiden and Andrew Mason. Great effort by both wrestlers, but Austin Maiden will win on points and take that one for the Bishop O'Connell Knights. And moving on now to the heavyweight class of wrestling. Yasir Azizi will be wrestling for the Wakefield Warriors. He's taking on Kieran O'Donovan for the Bishop O'Connell Knights. Donovan and Azizi. The ceremonial shake of hands and the wrestling begins. And O'Donovan with a lunge forward. He can't get Azizi down. Now he's got him down. Donovan now at risk of being pinned. And that's the pin. So Yasir Azizi quickly pins Karen Donovan and wins that one for the Wake to Warriors. Most of the matches drawn out, but through wrestling from both schools. <laughs> 